What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Caesar with Caesar Gets Crypto, and we are talking about Bitcoin. Good old Bitcoin. Little daily wrap up talking about Bitcoin. Gotta love it. We had a day today, and I mean, technically three and a half hours ago. We had a nice little bullish day, but not really. We pumped less than a percent from, from open to close, and throughout the day, we went a little bit higher than that, even <clears throat> forming yet again another lower high. And this is a pretty bearish um, higher daily close in, in relative terms because most of this candle, just like Bitcoin Cash, is a wick. Most of it's a wick. So I think I think that this was a kind of trap. We didn't get a bearish engulfing candle, unlike Bitcoin Cash, but this is still it's a still pretty pretty bearish of a uh, four hour candle here. We did reject the overbought zone, you know, just like we did here. Um, you know, here we, we actually went up into it and we got a strong move, right? But back here, we rejected it, right? It wasn't go time yet. Um, <clears throat> I don't think that we're going to get a move like this. I'm not comparing this to what, what we're seeing now because, I mean, in fact, you know, you, you look at this, the RSI held, it held high for a while, right? We went low, we bounced off the 50 and we went up from there. And when we did that, we didn't even break the lows of this range. We're here. Right, we're having this kind of big bearish engulfing candle. We're around the 50. We haven't bounced back yet. We had a little bit of a green four hour candle and now it looks like we're gonna close it potentially red, but if not, definitely with the wick to the upside. Things do not look good, in my opinion. Things I don't I don't think that things look good. I'm definitely you know, I know I made a uh, video talking about how, how things looked kind of bullish at the moment, but uh <clears throat> I think that bullishness is now outlived and past us. If we take a low here to a top here of this range, we are back below the midway point of this range. We got above it, short-lived, I mean technically here, right from low to high on this. We actually rejected the 236 and I don't know. I, I don't really like this fib, honestly. I don't I don't I don't like this fib at all, so I'm not I'm not going to use that. The fib the fib that I'm more like, and that could be a legitimate fib, but I don't know. I don't think so. The fib that I like from bottom to top here, and I'm using this top instead of that top, is is this one. I like this one a little bit more. And I do think that we're going to go at least down to the 382. Probably what we would see if we went down here is a close right around here and maybe a wick that went down to like this area over here, you know, something like that. So we might we might wick down to this area, but ultimately close above the 382. Um, we might not. We might go lower. We might bounce off the 50. We might go lower. We might bounce off the off the 618. We might bounce off the 382, reject the 236, bounce off the 50, reject the 382, go down to the 618, and then it's go time. <clears throat> I don't know. I don't know. What I do believe to know is that we are going to go lower from here. And I think that this this past few days is kind of just validating that. You know, we've had maybe not past few days, but this past week, we had, you know, a lower close, lowest close in this range so far other than this close, I guess. Kind of tied in with that, but it's it's a lower daily close nonetheless. Very bearish looking candles. We just we just flipped red on the daily right before our eyes right there. The daily RSI at the moment doesn't look, I mean, it's it's in a stronger reading than it is a weaker reading, but it doesn't look good to me. We have this triple or this double bearish divergence to play off of and bullet or bearish convergence on the lows here, or maybe not. Yes, yes, bearish convergence on the lows. And then just these wicks itself. It looks like this whole range has just been very indecisive. It's very, very shaky, you know, just shaking out. If you're bearish or bullish, whatever, it's faking you out, man. You're trying to trade this range. It is it is messing with traders for sure. And I think anybody who's patient at the moment, anyone who's patient, you will be rewarded with lower lows in price, or not lower lows, lower price action, lower prices than the current price. I do think we'll go below this purple line. I think that we will probably go just below it. You know, maybe at the most, like around 27.1, 27.2. Um, maybe, maybe 27k itself even, and then then we come back up. We'll, we'll be. Sh I, I would expect that we will be short lived below this purple line, just like this over here. We were one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine days below it on the tenth day we broke above it. I don't even know if we'll be down there for nine days. We could be down there for nine days. We could be down there longer than that. But at the moment, I'm anticipating that we'll be down there for shorter than nine days, probably shorter than a week even. But that's just that's just a guess. I don't really have anything to base that off of other than my gut feeling. We could be down there longer. 
But the fact that we are this strong on the long-term RSI, I, I guess we're not super, you know, we're at the 54, which is, it's pretty far away. You know, the 50 is all the way down here. The long-term RSI, it's way different than the, than the short-term RSI. Um, and we bounce off the 50 here, actually. And we're, we're nice and above it here. So we could go down and and still be above the 50. And any time that you're above the 50 on this long-term RSI, but you're below the purple line, I give that a good good time to buy signal, you know. And now we're green again, whatever. You know, it's 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 still early in the day. We'll see how it goes. But what what was I just looking? Was it the two hour? Two hour. What is I don't I don't normally look at the two hour. I don't know. Looks like we're getting a bearish engulfing candle on the two hour. But I don't know, man. This is weird. Just weird price action that we saw. I mean, it happens. It happens. But uh yeah, man. That's that's my oh I've got I've got, you know, I I talked about this in my video last night, but I want I want to bring it up again. So here, if we were to take a date range, you know, you got you got into this kind of price range, right? Right over here. Just like this is a price range here, right? You got into this price range on this day. So from this day to the day that you broke out of it, which was this day, that took 24 bars. We go to this price range over here. You can kind of see it, right? Same same kind of thing. This time we got on it on this day and we broke out of it on this day, but we broke out of it to the downside, but still we broke out of it and 20 bars, 20 bars, 24 bars, pretty close, pretty close. Um, same kind of thing. I'm, I'm taking like this price range here. We got into it on this day and we broke out of it on this day. That was 21 bars. I wonder even, you know, we got in the price range over here on this day and we didn't really break out of it until I would say this day here, that was 23 bars. And it wasn't as dramatic of a breakout, but this was the day that, you know, if we, if we were to, the reason I'm putting it there, I'm gonna delete this. But if we were to take a line and put it at kind of like the top area of this range where we had a closing basis, this was the day that we broke out of it, in my opinion. Um, so again, if you took from when we got in this price range, which is this day, and you, you took the day that we broke out of it, that's 23 bars. 21 bars, 23 bars, 20 bars, 24 bars, you know, they all, they all seem pretty similar to me. At the moment, we have been in this price range, we got in it on this day. At the moment, we've been in this price range for 20 bars exactly. This is the 20th bar right now, 20th day. So. I think within the next four days, it could be today, but within the next four days, I think we're going to see resolution. Maybe it's to the downside, maybe it's to the upside, but I think within the next four days, and it could be today, we're going to see a move. I am personally expecting that we go down, right? As I was saying earlier in the video, this to me does look like a BART. It still looks like a BART. We go on the four hour, it still to me looks like a BART, but the thing is on the four hour, I don't... I don't think it looks as much like a BART as it did on the daily. Um, is that 24 point, we're here, it's 25. I don't know, I guess it's the same. It, it still looks like a BART, but this this top, it just looks, it looks so, so big. It looks so big, you know, normally with BARTs you get, you get a more kind of, uh, like a top that would be something like this and then down. I mean, this is like twice as long as that. I don't know. It could it could be a BART, I don't know. But it does look like a flat range regardless. It looks like a topping range to me. It might not be a topping range. It could just be a consolidation range where we're ready to break out of it bullishly. But at the current moment, I think we're showing bearish price behavior. In fact, volume is increasing on what candle? The red candle. We had volume increasing on this, on this green candle too. You can see it, but the, the most volume that came in in the last three bars was on this very big red candle. So, I and it's, it's just a lower high. We've had lower closes on the four hour. We've had lower closes on the daily. And you know, these wicks to the upside, to me, they don't look good. After having a move up like this, it's totally normal for Bitcoin to go back to its 382 or its 618. And we haven't seen that yet. That's not a bad thing. That's healthy, actually get people to, to kind of, you know, is it gonna go lower? No, it's not gonna go lower. Is it gonna go lower? Oh God, I don't know. No, it's not gonna go lower. You know, you, you wanna see that uh, validation that the bulls are still in control. But if we just go up from here, I don't know, it hasn't, we haven't really shaken out any of the weak hands and the weak hands might sell up here and that might prevent us from going higher. So it's, it's good 
to see those kind of shakeouts happen. And I do think we're going to get that. One way or another, regardless though, we are 20 days in this range. Relatively speaking, you know, I just I just measured it. So I, I think that we are coming to the end of this range. I think we are going to break out of it. We're going to see resolution. Does that mean that we're going to see a lower low than this low? I don't think so. Does it mean that we're going to see price go to 100K if it goes up? I don't think so. You know, maybe if it were to go up, Maybe we are making a move up to this purple line, which would be about 34.7K. And the purple line, just so you guys know, that's the 123 moving average. I use that, um, and I use that in pair with the 123 RSI to kind of gauge certain things. The, the rule of thumb that I have, if, if you don't know already, is if you're above the 50 on the long-term RSI, so 123 RSI, if you're above the 50, but you're below the purple line, generally that's a good time to buy. If you're below the 50, but you're above the purple line, generally that's a good time to sell. And it's not, it doesn't always work. It's not 100%, but it's something I've noticed and I, I like to include it in my analysis. I like having two RSIs, man. It's it's nice. And anyways, that's that's all I got for you guys. I think, I think that, that ends the video there. I think I've said what I need to say. So if you like the video, leave a thumbs up. Please, please leave a like. It's definitely encouraging. Subscribe to see more. Or, or, you know, just to show support, whatever. But, but I appreciate all the new subscribers. And I will see you guys on the next one. Take care. Have a good night. Bye-bye.